Hey everyone, Jonathan Silva here, Pragmatic Works, with you for another part of my series on SharePoint Basics. For this video, what we're going to take a look at is how to use lookup columns on a SharePoint list. Let's jump right in. All right, so I have two SharePoint lists that I've developed for this case. The first one is our automation and app build projects. You can see on this list, I have a title column. That's, that's our default. We also have a product project description and completion date columns. And what I'd like to do is be able to add in the different accounts that we are going to create that project for, the different companies that we're doing that for. So you can see here, I have another SharePoint list called accounts that I'm using that has three different companies with three different accounts that I want to associate with the new projects that we have coming in. So what I'd like to do is be able to, every time I add a new record onto our projects or our automation and app build, go ahead and point to one of these individual accounts using the ones I already have. And this is a great way of adding either accounts or contacts as like a people picker or lookup um, that are outside of your tenants, outside of your company in order to add in here. Now, in order to do this, we're gonna go ahead to our, our table here or a list here that we wanna add this new lookup column on. And we could just choose add column right here. So I could just click on that, add column. And when I choose add column, we could choose the data type of the column right here. Now we could always choose this, choose this after the fact and change it later on, but we're gonna choose it right here, scrolling down and choosing lookup at the very bottom. There we are. And then you can hit next. So I'll go ahead and do that and hit next. And here we go. This is how we can develop our lookup column. It is really quick and easy to do. All we need to do is determine what is the name of the column that we wanna have. So we could say, we can call this account name if we'd like. Then we could put in a brief description if we want. We then can say, oh yes, it is a lookup. Which list are we using as our source? So I can come in here and I can go ahead and choose our accounts list. That's this one over here. Then from there, if I have my accounts list selected, I can then choose which column am I gonna pull? Now on our accounts list, if I go back one moment here on my accounts list, you could see that the column that I really want is this name column. And I've all I've done here is I've done a right click, I've clicked on this and then gone to column settings and renamed it from title to name. Keep in mind that any time we are working here with SharePoint and we're looking at that primary column, that very first one, it will always be called title no matter if we change the display name. So keep that in mind that it will always be referenced like that if you ever wanna to point to it. Here in SharePoint, Power Apps, Power Automate, whatever you see there, it's going to be called like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and point to mine again and I'm gonna use this title call, okay? right there. Now, if I select more options, what I can also do is decide right here to add additional columns from the source list. So if I had other columns on that other list that I also wanted to include here each and every time, I can do that right here as well. So I can say, you know what, I also want uh, to go with the title, I want to go the industry. And I might also want to add in the primary contact each time. So every time I add in something on this, this list for my projects, I get all of that information here. We can then add in other options here, deletions from the source list affect this list. So if I delete anything from the accounts that it's going to impact each row or each item here on this list, I can allow for multiple selections. So multiple accounts, if I want to point to, I can require that it contains information. So make it a required column or not enforce unique values, all of these different options that you are generally gonna get with other columns here within SharePoint. But if I'm ready to go, I can select save. And once I choose save, you'll notice that not only do we get our account name column that we've just created, but we're also getting the account name industry and we're gonna get that account name primary contact. So now if I go ahead and add in a new list item, I can say, okay, what project we want to do? I want to build a canvas app for new device order, the project description, okay, application that allows users to 
uh, request a new device for their home office setup. Okay, the completion date, when do we need this app done? I'm gonna go ahead and just pick a random date here. I'll put it, let's say two weeks. And then now I can choose here my account name. Once I select in here, I'll get a list of all of the accounts that I have on my other list. This is the lookup. So I can come in here and I could just choose, I want to do this for um, the toy store, right? All I need to do is select that. If I hit save, what you'll notice is not only am I getting all of that added in here, but I'm getting in the industry, the primary contact. And if I click right here on the account name, this is now going to navigate me over to that other list for that information. So I'm on my accounts list and there is the toy store specifically for that item. It's the exact item I would see if I selected accounts right here and I went in and chose Toy Store. It's gonna be the same thing, but specific to that item only when I click there. So now we have the ability to go ahead and add in that lookup column on our SharePoint list. Now this can be done many times over. So if you have many different lists that you wanna associate with one list, you can add in your different lookup columns that are gonna allow you to pull in that other information here. So you're essentially creating a mini data model here inside of SharePoint. Thanks for joining me here once again, looking at working with SharePoint and some of our basics. If you like this video and wanna see more videos for myself and all of us here at Pragmatic Works, please go ahead, drop a like below, hit that subscribe button to see everything that we have for you coming up in the future. Thanks, see you next time.